Welcome. Today we want to talk about a very important topic, how we can improve the safety in our transport operations together. Uh, we're here at the Avesta plant and with me I have one of our trusted partners, Roger Blom, Managing Director of Ernst Express. What are the key risks that you see in our joint transport operations? One of the key risks is uh, winter road, when we have black ice road. We stop the vehicle and wait for salt and uh, sand tracks and then we go through. Alcohol drugs, we doing the test of alcohol every morning. We have uh, those alcohol locks since 14 years back. And uh, smartphone is a risk. Uh, now we have a law in Sweden, so we have a rule in the company for five years now that we don't touch any smartphone and it's normally private smartphones that someone can touch. I agree Roger, those are serious risks that you're bringing up and uh, to manage those properly we have decided to implement a new transport safety improvement program that we will implement across all AGA locations in Northern Europe. And now let's take a walk through the program step by step together. Today 90% of our employees in distribution work at contractors and the most important platform of communication between AGA and our transport partners is handled through contractor management. We believe that both AGA and our partners can improve in this area by working more systematically and having safety focused meetings with regular intervals over the year. We also find it important that our contractors feel empowered to share ideas and ensure that what we talk about in the meetings also have a strong impact and can be carried out in practice. We are continuously working towards a safe work environment for our drivers. Transport is one of the riskiest areas uh, of our operations. Our transport drivers delivering gas to our customers come across numerous risks every day due to the dynamic nature of road transport. Let us hear from our master driver Janne Höglund what kind of challenges he and his colleagues face out on the road. Janne, what risks do you come across in your daily driving? Other people on the road, the weather conditions, difficult roads, difficult places to unload and loading. It can't be easy to predict all these different dangers. How do you and the colleagues prepare to stay safe on the road? Defense driving, keep calm in the traffic, no rush. When the road is too slippery, you have to park and wait until the team that uh, manages the roads come. It is good to know, uh, Janne, that you and your teammates are well prepared and take a defensive approach to avoid unnecessary risk in your daily driving tasks. The focus with our transport partners and the driving team is on coaching to enable the drivers to be prepared and adopt always a defensive attitude on the road. A well-trained, competent driver with the right coaching will always take a defensive attitude before risks. And as Janne said, even if it means stopping the vehicle on the road due to adverse conditions and then wait uh, until the conditions are better. Driver training is something we until recently have done in many different ways in both our countries and at our contractors. We now gradually implement best practice on how we take new drivers on board and also how we train our experienced drivers and master drivers. What we talk about is practical defensive training, rollover training, slippery training, etc. And we all need repetition with certain intervals not to forget but also how to take new behaviors on board. 
Så Roger, uh, how do you work with competence development for drivers at Ernst Express? Uh, we're using a system, a Volvo system called Dynafleet. And all trucks and all drivers have a score they can see daily. And we have a goal at the company, a score goal. And if some driver not reach the goal, we're doing extra coaching with that driver. So from August perspective, the objective is to create one training program which we will work with together with our transport partners. Modern trucks are so comfortable that it is difficult for a driver, especially less experienced ones, to pick up the signals from the road, even the effect of speed. You don't really feel it. So there are a number of technologies that have been developed in order to support the driver. Janne, how do you see the advantages of these different technologies that are available to support in the, in the driving? Uh, and uh, also what are the challenges uh, in your view? There is a lot of systems in helping the drivers but you cannot trust 100% to the system. In the end, the driver that has the control of the vehicle. As Janne said, uh, at the end of the day the driver is the one who is in control. So these technologies, they are there to support the driver but they are not going to uh, prevent accidents if the driver doesn't uh, behave in a defensive manner. The driver is the captain of the ship. Uh, AGA, to support the driver, has specified a number of these uh, technologies to be uh, fitted in the trucks. And these include lane departure warning, collision prevention, roll stability system. And also we are uh, currently piloting uh, driver drowsiness and distraction uh, warning system to support the drivers. So the fifth element of the transport safety program is the annual transport safety day. This is when we will, will gather all our transport partners to share good examples and best practices. The first event will be held in January 2019 and we, at that point in time we will also uh, present the AGA Safety Award. So Roger, what are some of the best practices that you would like to share with the other transport companies? Uh, I can share a sleeping apnea screening we done for a few years ago uh, that we... It's very important that our drivers sleep well and uh, we actually find a few drivers who don't sleep well and uh, they are taken care now by, by medicine, medical care. And uh, Dynafleet is the system we have to coaching the driver and uh, we have a goal in that system to reach and uh, we have a bonus system there so I can see how the driver manage and they can see how they how well they done at the road and we have a very good score there today. Great to hear Roger looks like uh, you will be uh, one of the contenders for the upcoming AGA safety award. Thank you. This brings us to the end of the program and now we wish for all your active participation and that you return home safe today and every day. Mm -hmm.